11 Things to Avoid During Pregnancy, What Not to Do There aren't many hard and fast rules about what not to do during your pregnancy, beyond abstaining from alcohol and drugs, of course. For the most part, you can continue with most of your pre-pregnancy life. But because the health and safety of your growing baby is essential, so in this video, I will give you 11 important things to avoid while pregnant for the safety of you and your baby. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's the solution again. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more on hidden facts and truth about natural remedies, ideas and solutions to health problems and body care, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you can be notified when we upload a new health video. Let's get started. Number 1 on my list is certain foods. The biggest list of don'ts for pregnant women involves food. During your pregnancy, there are some foods you should avoid as possible as you can and some superfood to consume. You should avoid foods such as Raw meat and shellfish, uncooked seafood including oysters, mussels, and clams. Deli meat, fish with high levels of mercury, that includes fish such as shark, king mackerel, swordfish, and tilefish. Smoked seafood, raw eggs, soft cheeses, unpasteurized dairy. In your daily meal plan, try to incorporate lean proteins, healthy fats, lots of fresh vegetables and fruits, water. It seems extensive, but there are still plenty of great nutrition choices during your pregnancy. While it's always important to eat a balanced diet, pregnancy is an especially critical time. In your daily meal plan, try to incorporate lean proteins, healthy fats, lots of fresh vegetables and fruits and water. To learn more on worst foods to avoid during pregnancy and superfoods to eat, kindly go watch our video on that, so you can get knowledge for the safety of you and your baby. Number 2. Wet Paint There's no way to measure toxicity from actual exposure to paint, so this recommendation is based on the likelihood of toxicity. Paint toxicity depends on the individual solvents and chemicals in the paint, as well as exposure. While it's assumed that household painting has a low exposure level, the safest course of action is to seriously reduce your exposure to the fumes from these paints. Even better? Find someone else to handle the painting. Number 3. Caffeine. It's a stimulant and a diuretic, which means drinking your usual few cups of coffee every day will increase your blood pressure, heart rate, and the number of trips you make to the restroom. Plus, caffeine crosses the placenta. While you may function just fine caffeinated, your growing baby doesn't. That's because your baby's metabolism is still developing. You don't have to forego caffeine entirely. Moderate levels of caffeine, defined as 150 to 300 mg mg, a day, should be fine. Just remember that caffeine isn't just in tea and coffee. You'll find it in chocolate, sodas, and even certain over-the-counter medicines. If you're finding this information helpful please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification to stay updated on my latest health and nutrition tips. Number 4. Certain Medications some medications can be harmful to your growing baby. Before taking any over-the-counter or prescription medications and supplements, speak to your doctor. Number 5. Stilettos. Stick to heels with a 3-inch heel or less, think kitten heels, wedges, and platforms. As your belly grows, your center of gravity will change. So you may find yourself a little unsteady on your feet. Add to that swollen ankles, and you may find yourself living in your flip-flops. Number 6. Hot tubs and saunas. If you're feeling aches and pains during your pregnancy, relaxing in a hot tub may seem ideal. But an elevated body temperature during the first trimester can lead to certain birth defects. Skip the hot tub, which usually maintains a water temperature around 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and try a warm bath instead. Number 7. Kitty litter. If you must change kitty, wear gloves and wash your hands well afterward. Cat feces can carry toxoplasmosis, a rare parasitic disease. While you're more likely to contract it by eating raw meat or through gardening, it's still a good idea to have someone else change the cat litter daily. I understand there is a lot of information in this video, so feel free to pause, rewind and take notes if you need to. Pay attention to number 8 because this might just save your baby's life. Which is secondhand smoke. Smoking is terrible for you and your baby, but secondhand smoke can be nearly as bad. There are roughly 4,000 chemicals in secondhand smoke, and some of them have been linked to cancer. Exposure to secondhand smoke during your pregnancy can lead to miscarriage, 
which is the spontaneous loss of a pregnancy before the 20th week. About 10 to 20% of known pregnancies end in miscarriage. But the actual number is likely higher because many miscarriages occur very early in pregnancy, before you might even know about a pregnancy. The term miscarriage might suggest that something went wrong in the carrying of the pregnancy. But this is rarely true. Most miscarriages occur because the fetus isn't developing as expected. Secondhand smoke can also lead to premature delivery. A premature birth is a birth that takes place more than three weeks before the baby's estimated due date. In other words, a premature birth is one that occurs before the start of the 37th week of pregnancy. Premature babies, especially those born very early, often have complicated medical problems. Typically, complications of prematurity vary. But the earlier your baby is born, the higher the risk of complications. Secondhand smoke can lead to low birth weight. Low birth weight is when a baby is born weighing less than 5 pounds, 8 ounces. Some babies with low birth weight are healthy, even though they're small. But having a low weight at birth can cause serious health problems for some babies. A baby who is very small at birth may have trouble eating, gaining weight and fighting off infections. Some may have long-term health problems, too. About 1 in 12 babies, about 8%, in the United States is born with low birth weight. Side effect number 4. Learning or behavioral issues as your baby grows. Common problems include disorders of sleep, crying, feeding and diet, discipline and sexuality, aggression and biting, toilet training, and school avoidance. Family physicians should be aware of the management of behavioral problems and provide anticipatory or responsive guidance or reference information. The fifth side effect of secondhand smoking is sudden infant death syndrome, SIDS, dash sometimes known as cot death it is the sudden, unexpected and unexplained death of an apparently healthy baby. Most deaths happen during the first six months of a baby's life. Infants born prematurely or with a low birth weight are at greater risk. SIDS also tends to be slightly more common in baby boys. SIDS usually occurs when a baby is asleep, although it can occasionally happen while they're awake. Parents can reduce the risk of SIDS by not smoking while pregnant or after the baby is born, and always placing the baby on their back when they sleep. Coming back to number 9 thing to avoid is alcohol. Avoid wine, beer, and liquor during your pregnancy. Alcohol passes quickly from your bloodstream through the placenta and umbilical cord to your baby, and this can harm your developing baby's brain and organs. Other potential risks include Number one potential risk is fetal alcohol spectrum disorders FOSTs. They are a group of conditions that can occur in a person who is exposed to alcohol before birth. These effects can include physical problems and problems with behavior and learning. Often, a person with an FOST has a mix of these problems. The second risk is brain damage. Brain injuries during pregnancy are often caused by potential issues such as high blood pressure passed from the mother to the baby, or in situations where there is oxygen deprivation. This can include umbilical cord strangulation. Number 3. Birth Defects Birth defects are structural changes present at birth that can affect almost any part or parts of the body, for example, heart, brain, foot. They may affect how the body looks, works, or both. Birth defects can vary from mild to severe. The well-being of each child affected with a birth defect depends mostly on which organ or body part is involved and how much it is affected. Alcohol intake leads to miscarriage. A miscarriage is the loss of a baby before the 20th week of pregnancy. The medical term for a miscarriage is spontaneous abortion. But it isn't an abortion in the common meaning of the term. As many as 50% of all pregnancies end in miscarriage, most often before a woman misses a menstrual period or even knows they're pregnant. About 15% to 25% of recognized pregnancies will end in a miscarriage. Most importantly it causes stillbirth. A stillbirth is the death or loss of a baby before or during delivery. Both miscarriage and stillbirth describe pregnancy loss, but they differ according to when the loss occurs. An early stillbirth is a fetal death occurring between 20 and 27 completed weeks of pregnancy. A late stillbirth occurs between 28 and 36 completed pregnancy weeks. A term stillbirth occurs between 37 or more completed pregnancy weeks. Jumping back to number 10. Sitting or standing for too long. During pregnancy, staying in same position for too long, seated or standing, can be problematic. It can cause all types of problems including swollen ankles and vein problems. Try taking short breaks frequently to move around if you've been seated, or to put your legs up if you've been on your feet. Number 11. Believing everything you read. You can find all sorts of contradictory information online, in books, 
and in magazines. Be reasonable, trust your instincts, and remember that erring on the side of caution is never a bad idea. If in doubt, speak to your doctor. Remember, you won't be pregnant forever. Hang in there, as all of these off-limits foods and activities will soon be available to you again. Remember to subscribe and if you find this video helpful please give the video a thumbs up. To learn more about top superfoods to eat during pregnancy, tap on this video showing on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always I wish good health, wealth and happiness. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.